Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Courteous Cuties stamp set from Paper Smooches. This is a brand new stamp set that just came out at the first of the month and it's so adorable. I've always loved Paper Smooches critters and animal stamps and this stamp set has a lot of really cute ones. So first I'm cutting down some Strathmore Bristol paper to create a card base. Now, this is just a forewarning. I am going to actually cut this card base down later and attach it to a different one. But for now, I thought I would be making a completely one layer card. So that's why I'm using a long strip of the Bristol paper because I thought this would be the actual card base. So I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp the turtle and the fish twice onto my card front. And I really wanted to have the two little fish on there so that the turtle wasn't lonely, if that makes sense. So I let that uh, pigment ink dry for just a couple minutes while I picked out some Zig Clean Color Brill Brush Marker colors. And I just chose different shades of blue. And I've actually shown this technique in a previous video, and I'll link that up in the top corner. Um, I was making a mermaid card, and um, I did a whole background using this kind of technique of drawing some kind of wavy squiggly lines and changing the colors as it uh, goes down the card. So I started with a really light blue, I went to a little bit more of a bright blue, and then now I'm moving into some darker shades. And the thing that's really fun about using these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers for this particular technique, and especially on Bristol paper, is that the colors blend out so beautifully. All I have to use is a little bit of water from my water brush, and those colors just wick out from where I've drawn them, and I have a really, really easy technique, and it looks like it took a long time, but it really doesn't. So I'm just, I'm going to continue blending these colors. I'm actually going to put in some more darker shades over onto the side. I realized that the diagonal line of the waves was a little bit too steep for me. So I wanted to really kind of bring it down onto, uh, or bring it up rather on the left side a little bit so that it wasn't such a really deep slope. So I'm adding more of those shades in. And I also decided to fade up the lightest color a little bit, just so that, <clears throat> excuse me, just so that it would uh, not be such a stark contrast between the white cardstock or the white Bristol paper and where this watercolor texture begins. So I'm adding in a little more details. I'm adding some darker shades around the turtles and the there on the turtle and the fish, and I'm making sure that everything looks really even. I then painted the turtle first. I did different shades of green and actually put in a, a green right here that was the wrong shade. It did not look as good, but um, I put another green over the top and it sort of evens it all out and it looks really nice. So I'm going to move on to the fish. I'm using a bright yellow for that and I'm not going to do any extra shading on the fish. I'm just going to leave it just like that. So I wanted to add some kind of bubbles or kind of frothy ocean texture to this piece here. So I'm using some white gouache and I just put a little tiny dab of gouache onto an acrylic block and then I dropped on a couple droplets of water I'm using my small paintbrush to mix that up so that it's more of a workable texture. And then I'm just dropping on a bunch of little tiny dots, some big dots, some small, I'm kind of clustering some. I just want to add quite a bit on here. And as they dry back, some of them will look lighter than others because of how thick the paint was. So I get a really good variety of dot textures on this. So I've prepped some black cardstock. This is some licorice, uh, I think it's licorice twist cardstock from Basil. I prepped that with an anti-static powder tool and then stamped the greeting on there with some Versamark ink. The greeting says, you're turtly awesome, which I think is so cute. I have a friend who loves turtles, so I think I might send this to her. And I coated, coated that with some Hero Arts white embossing powder and then heat set that with the heat tool until it was smooth and melted. So after I let all the the turtle watercolor piece dry, it had warped quite a bit and I just wasn't really loving the look on the edges because um, 
I was like trying to paint to the edge and it didn't look as nice. So I ended, ended up cutting that down, putting some foam tape on the back, and then using another card base made out of some Bristol paper to adhere that piece to. Now I used a more Bristol paper for this because there was quite a bit of white at the top of my watercolor panel and I wanted the white to match. And I knew if I tried to use a different cardstock, it wouldn't match. So I had to use some more Bristol paper. So I put some foam tape on the back of that greeting sentiment that's on black and then adhered that down onto the front of the card. I then took a clear Wink of Stella glitter brush pen, added a little bit of shimmer on top of those yellow fish, and then I'm using some white blizzard glitter drops from Nuvo. And I'm just going to add these into just a few little places. It's not super noticeable um, on camera here or even sometimes in the photos, but looking at this card when it's all finished, you can see a little bit of texture popping up from the surface of the card. And there's also a little bit of a shimmer glitter to them. So it just adds a little bit of, of interest onto this scene. So that is the card for today. Had a lot of fun using those markers to watercolor. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.